as the war over Arkham begins, we see Oswald Cobblepot's prediction of blood in the streets slowly come true. Welcome back, everyone. This is Jason. Uh, this is going to be my uh, review of Gotham TV series season one, episode four, Arkham. Uh, great episode. Um, things are really starting to take shape in uh, in Gotham. Things are really starting to happen. And, uh, you know, the, the story is taking twists and turns and we really starting to see uh, this predicted war from Penguin uh, starting to take shape. Like I said, um, it's the battle over the Arkham District is the main part of this episode. Um, two families, Falcone and Maroney both want control over it. Uh, one family wants to do one thing, one family wants to do another thing. And, you know, whoever takes it over, obviously, is going to get a good chunk of Gotham. And that's what the sole purpose of the families are, is to, you know, slowly take over all of Gotham. Falcone's got the, you know, most of the government in his pocket. Maroney's got, you know, some other stuff laid out. Well, the war starts by uh, councilmen starting to disappear. And what's interesting is uh, partway through the episode, we find out that the Falcone family and the Maroney uh, crime family are both using the same guy to take out councilmen to influence the uh, mayor's decision, or his vote, to you know see what happens with... Um, Arkham District and the, and the asylum inside. Um, well, we see um, Jim Gordon and Bullock trying to solve the case of who's doing these murders on the councilman and find out that the gentleman who's doing it is using a false identity and he's a professional hitman. He's been using the identity of a guy that's been dead for five years. It's like, wow. <laughs> um, but the gentleman looked familiar. I, I believe he was, and if you go back, well, it's quite a ways. Uh, but I believe he was one of the scientists in the movie uh, Terminator 2. I know that's going back to like 92. Um, if you're my age, you've probably seen it. If you're significantly younger, probably not. But nonetheless, um, good actor, played a real, real sly hitman in this. And his weapon, wow, just his weapon was something else. That, that, that spike into two parts that screwed together, that was slick. Um, well, they take him out in the end, in that, in that part of the story. Um, In the end, Arkham gets divided. I'm going to jump around a little bit, talk about the different parts here. But all in all, in the end, um, Arkham gets divided. The Moroni family got the um, got the refurbish Arkham itself with uh, the waste disposal unit, and Falcone got the housing project. So in a sense, it's kind of cut down the middle. Um, but it certainly seems to be a big blow to the Falcone family as far as as far as power. Maroney got a good chunk of it, was able to influence the mayor in that aspect because uh, he was the one that uh, tried to take out the mayor with this uh, with this professional hitman Gladwell. Um, we see. Bruce Wayne throughout the episode here and there. Um, not a significant part of it, but um, we do see him <clears throat> uh, partway through the episode ask Alfred to get all the information he can on Arkham, the Arkham Project, because it was um, being done by the Waynes. And now that the Waynes were dead, you know, obviously other people are going to influence what happens to Arkham. So Bruce Wayne trying to figure out uh, things still from his parents' murder 
is thinking that there's a connection between uh, his parents' murder and the councilman murder uh, linked with, you know, the Arkham project. So he's, you know, he's working on that. And uh, Alfred's going to be helping him on that. Well, by the end of it, you know, like I said, you know, the Arkham was split up between the two families and uh, Gordon's explains this all to Bruce Wayne and and he's like, you know, can you still save Gotham? And Jim's like, I'm going to try. Um, so there's that section of the story. Another section of the story, we see uh, a lot of tension between uh, Barbara and Jim Gordon and their relationship is very strained because obviously uh, Agent Montoya is trying to get information out of Barbara trying to get her to um, question Jim about uh, Oswald Cobblepot. And in the beginning of the episode, we see uh, him come back. You know, it's it leaves off right where the last episode left off where um, Oswald, you know, Penguin, shows up at the doorstep. Well, he introduces himself as Peter Humboldt, which <laughs> I found that pretty... Uh, pretty humorous. Jim escorts him out immediately and, uh, you know, and like really lays into him, you know, why did you come back? And he's still, you know, Penguin's still trying to influence him saying, I can help you. You know, there's all these horrible things. This war is going to happen and I can, I can help you with this war. And well, then he slips away into the night amidst some, uh, you know, commotion around of people in the streets. And uh, as far as Oswald Cobblepot goes, we see him partway through the episode as well. Um, you know, the wheels are turning. He's, he's, you know, he's, he's starting to make his comeback. In the last episode, we saw him got the job at Baroni's Restaurant. Well, in the midst of all this war between the families starting, we see a hit on Maroney's restaurant. And um, the restaurant manager gets taken out, and all the people in the back get taken out, and all the money is stolen except for one bag. And um, Maroney's men come uh, to clean up the mess and find um, Oswald. <laughs> in the cooler hiding with the bag of money. He's like, Oh, I, I, you know, they took all the money, but I saved this, this, you know, this bag of money. And, uh, <clears throat> so the next day, you know, Maroney decides to reward, uh, Cobblepot. And he's like, well, you're the new restaurant manager seeing as that position just opened up, you know, and we see all the blood and because, well, <laughs> the restaurant manager was killed in the hit. And uh, the most interesting part of the hit is it was all, we find out at the end of the episode, uh, Oswald Cobblepot arranged the whole hit. He hired these men to hit his own restaurant and take all the money. Absolutely brilliant. But then we see, uh, you know, he shows up as all of, all of the guys he hired are counting the money and poisons them all with a cannoli. <laughs> we see them all laying on the floor, you know, dead at the end of the episode. Oswald walks out with a bag of money. So, you know, A, he's got a new position in the restaurant. B, he's got all the money from the hit because he arranged it. Pretty genius. Uh, <laughs> wow. So, yeah, he's really starting to um, uh, not, I, should, I was going to say, make a name for himself. He's not making a name for himself, but he's, you know, he's, he's, he's gaining position. He's gaining a little bit of power, um, and he's also getting money in the process. Uh, pretty slick. So, uh, 
Let me just go over my notes here real quick. Oh, going back to Jim and Barbara. Barbara actually confesses to Jim about her relationship with Montoya. I don't know if I said that. Um, but yeah, there's a whole lot of dishonesty going on there. Because, you know, well, Jim's obviously trying to, you know, keep her safe and keep her out of the loop as far as all the bad stuff that's going on in Gartham. He doesn't weigh that all on her. So in that sense, he's being dishonest. But, you know, she's not being honest with him because she's, you know, plugging him about all this information on Oswald Cobblepot, you know, wondering where it's coming from. She confesses about the relationship with Montoya, but she doesn't say that Montoya has been coming back and, you know, trying to get her to get information out of him, you know, so she's being really, in, really dishonest. Um, <clears throat> don't know where, where that's going to go. So, so yeah, the, the, the crime family, the, you know, the war has begun over Arkham. Uh, both sides have a chunk, but I'm sure that's not going to keep the peace for very long between the two sides. And, um, uh, we see the stress between Jim and Barbara and their relationship. And um, in this episode, we see Jim and um, uh, Gordon and Bullock working pretty good together. Um, the only tension between them is Bullock says to Jim, well, you looking like you're kind of holding something back or hiding something in. You know, so he can tell that there's something going on, that the job is starting to get to him a little bit. Um, so, yeah, great episode. Um, things are really starting to roll in the series. Did you like the episode? Give me some feedback in the, con in the, in the comments. And um, thanks for watching, guys. That's it for this one.